Hey everybody, it's Patrick here from One Shot Kill It Media. Today we're going to be doing a quick unboxing of another awesome Rock Island Armory 1911. Today we're going to be looking at a TCM TAC Ultra FS HC combo. So it's a high capacity combo. And what they mean by combo is this one ships with the TCM barrel and spring, the 22 TCM, and a 9mm barrel and spring. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get this box opened up. Here we go. All right, so just when we open up initially here, I just want you to get a little inventory of what's in the package. We obviously see the 22 TCM pistol here. We see a magazine. We see that there's a magazine inserted into the firearm as well. Some spent cases here. Uh, don't need those. <laughs> and let's see what else we've got. We've got a gun lock. We've got, importantly here, the 9mm barrel and spring. That's good to know, good to have. We've got some information here on the 22 TCM pistol. Some information, a little guide. And let's take a look here. Maintenance and break-in instructions as well. So good stuff to have, good stuff to know review that a little later. All right, let's get to the part of this unboxing we really want to learn more about, the pistol itself. Now, just picking it up, feeling the fit and finish of it, extremely nice. I'm impressed, as always, with any Rock Island Armory 1911 that I pick up. The fit and finish is always fantastic. There's not a whole lot of wobble or anything in between the slide. Now, on the 22 TCM, you'll feel that the spring is quite a bit lighter than what you'll find on a 9mm or 45 and I'd imagine just that's just because of the round that we're shooting out of it. I'm going to move this case over for a second too so we can see uh, more of the pistol against the white background here. Do have a little range flag included here and then an additional magazine as well so just so you can see that. Now these magazines have a 17 round capacity from what I read up on in terms of the 22 TCM pistol and in this case the uh, the TAC Ultra HC high capacity. So just like we were talking about before, let's take a look at the pistol itself. We remove the magazine. Again, 17 round magazines here for either 22 TCM or 9mm. And let's take a look at some of the features here. So as you can see, we've got the Rock Island Armory logo. We've got uh, what they call a combat style hammer. It's just a hammer with some serrations in it, making it a little easier to pull back if you need to. Uh, we've got the ambidextrous safety here on each side. We've got G10 grips on this model as well. Um, I'm a huge fan of the Rock Island grips. I think they're awesome. Really, really aggressive feeling, uh, but not uncomfortable to shoot, which is cool. Uh, we've got some nice adjustable sights here as well. These are the uh, white dot sights. I want to make sure that we can pick that up on camera so you can see it on here. So white dot adjustable in the back and then we've got a red fiber up front here. And I'll see if I can get that zoomed in for you just so you can see it. So nice features overall on that end. Um, we do have a flared magwell here also which I think will make for much much easier reloads. You know even if you're quicker and you're using it in a uh, maybe a defense situation or any sort of competition situation, you just want to be able to jam those mags in quick. Let's get that on camera just so you can see it. See, easy, easy reloading. Nice and quick. So, let's do that on this camera here quick too. Easy reloading. Nice. So again, I do like the flared magwell on here. We've got some serrations in the back here as well, which is nice. Makes for a really nice grip on that gun. Uh, we've got forward serrations on the slide and the back for easier cocking of the actual pistol itself. We've got a nice trigger in here too. Straight back trigger pull. Not overly heavy. So, really liking that trigger, it's nice and light. And then, uh, let's take a look here. Oh yeah, this is one of my other favorite things about a lot of the Rock Island Armory pistols. 
is the built-in rail up front for their TAC models. So as you can see, that rail is built right into the actual frame itself. Also, we can see the, the small barrel opening. Obviously, 22 TCM, it's a 22 caliber round. Not as big as a nine millimeter. <laughs> so, overall, uh, I think this is just gonna be an awesome pistol in general. I really like the feel of it. It's easy to point. Um, again, reloading nice and easy with that flared magwell. And controls, I mean, just naturally a good feeling pistol. So I'm excited to get it out on the range and I'll definitely get you guys some more information on this one here coming soon. Uh, just to give you a little bit more of a breakdown on some of the specs of this pistol, I did uh, get a little sheet here for us just so you have all this information right in front of you. Obviously again, this shoots the 22 TCM or the nine millimeter, depending on how you have it outfitted, you know, whether you're using that nine millimeter barrel or the 22 barrel in spring. And let's just take a look here. We've got 17 round capacity like we talked about. Uh, the weight unloaded is about two and a half pounds. Overall length is 8.54 inches. And let's see here, barrel length is about five inches. Trigger pull, they say 1.36 to 1.81 kilograms. Like I said, to me, I don't get that specific about it. It feels nice and light. I just like it, so. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's take a look here. So in most cases, what we're going to be doing when shooting a 22 TCM, because Rock Island is the only one that I know that makes a round four or 22 TCM at this point, uh, would be shooting the 40 grain jacketed hollow point that they have. So that's what we'd be looking like for ammunition. And it's just kind of a cool looking cartridge. I'll post a picture here too compared to a nine millimeter so you can see it for yourself what they look like. And then uh, let's just take a look here if there's any other little points of interest here. Um, talked about the sights, we talked about the frame. Uh, it's a parkerized finish on the gun itself. And then uh, yeah, other than that, I mean, just like I was saying, overall from what I've experienced with Rock Island Armory, very, very high quality build for the price that you pay. Uh, much more affordable than a lot of the other 1911s that are out on the market these days. So this is definitely worth a look. Um, again, if you're getting into the combo, you could have a nine millimeter and a 22, uh, which is pretty awesome. Given the 22 TCM isn't as readily available as 22 long rifle, uh, but either way, a little softer shooting round that's still got a lot of zip to it. So we will get this out on the range for you, do some review and let you know how it goes. Um, overall though, like I said, I am pretty damn excited to get this gun out there and give it a try. I'll let you guys know how it goes. Thanks for tuning in. As always, please subscribe if you haven't already. Share this video with anybody who loves 1911s, Rock Island Armory, um, or just guns in general if they want to learn more about these different models that are available. Thanks everybody. Have an amazing day and we'll see you again soon.